James Webb Telescope has unearthed six fully formed galaxies in an earlier time frame, stumping all previous scientific conjectures. There are some of the oldest that we've seen, but they're a little hazy, and there's a lot going on in these images. It was kind of shocking because some of these galaxies were 13 billion light years away, and then they had 100 billion solar mass at the stars. And so what that means is that we are viewing these galaxies very shortly after the Big Bang, only 600 million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is one of the most advanced space observatories ever built, and it is set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. One of its primary objectives is to observe the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. These galaxies are thought to have formed just a few hundred million years after the birth of the universe, and they hold valuable clues to the early evolution of our cosmos. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is currently the most advanced space telescope around, with cutting-edge technology and advanced tools to let it see farther into the universe and see in much greater detail than ever before. In particular, among its capabilities is the ability to, technically speaking, see through time. Time and distance have an interesting relationship. This is because visual images and signals need to actually travel in order to be seen. For example, the Sun is on average 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, one might think that all sunlight that reaches Earth does so instantaneously, but that actually isn't true. Light has a set speed, it can travel specifically 299,792,458 meters per second, assuming it is traveling in a vacuum without any interference. This is very fast, but it isn't instantaneous. That means when we look at the Sun, we aren't seeing a live image of what is actually happening on the Sunday we're actually seeing what was happening on the Sun around 8 minutes prior. Now take this idea and expand the scale so it applies across the universe. All stars emit light, which we can see. But the farther away the star is, the older what we're seeing is. If you're looking at a very distant star, you're actually seeing what happened a very long time ago. Now, let's talk about the galaxies in question. The six potential galaxies spotted were estimated by the team to have existed around 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. What are their galaxies? And what impact will they have on our understanding of the universe? NASA has just discovered six giant galaxies that are so ancient, researchers have said that they shouldn't even exist anymore. A team of astrophysicists found the mysterious objects hiding in images taken from the James Webb Space Telescope, which was published in a study on 22nd of February. They've also revealed that this finding is pushing the limits to everything we thought we knew about space. NASA was able to find galaxies nearly as huge as the Milky Way, all full of some very mature red stars. The images were obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope, which showed exactly just how far away these stars were. While only appearing as minuscule dots to the powerful telescope, astronomers have now been able to establish the age of the stars through analyzing the light emitting from the galaxies. The fact that galaxies existed back then isn't the issue. The Milky Way is estimated to be older after all, and scientists in 2022 found four galaxies that likely formed 350 million years after the Big Bang. But these six galaxies are just enormous significantly dwarfing these four other galaxies. In particular, these six galaxies are estimated to have around the same amount of stars back then as the Milky Way does now. Considering the Milky Way only amassed such a huge amount of stars after billions of years of mergers and accretion, it is baffling that there were galaxies so enormous not even one billion years after the Big Bang. These objects are way more massive than anyone expected, said Joel Leia, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State. He continued, We expected only to find tiny, young, baby galaxies at this point in time, but we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own and what was previously understood to be the dawn of the universe. Researchers also claim that the discovery pushes the limits of our understanding of cosmology and these objects are now being informally referred to as universe breakers. They have been living up to their name so far, Joel Leia added. While he revealed that they had no idea what we were going to find, the unexpected has since created issues in the field. The assistant professor also added that this was their first glimpse back this far in time, so researchers were keen to keep an open mind about what they were seeing before them. 
while the data indicates they are likely galaxies, he said, I think there is a real possibility that a few of these objects turn out to be obscured supermassive black holes. However, the amount of mass we discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to 100 times greater than we had previously thought. But maybe it wasn't through mergers or accretion. Maybe they just formed stars naturally. After all, that does happen. The Milky Way does it too with around a star or two forming each year, on average. But this also doesn't make sense, because if these six galaxies were forming new stars to grow to such a massive size, they would need to be spawning hundreds of new stars each year throughout the entire history of the universe itself. The Milky Way galaxy is thought to have around 400 billion stars, and these six galaxies must have a similar amount. So yes, they really would need to be forming that many stars so often. And even if they could do that, it still should be impossible because quite frankly, as far as our current scientific understanding of the universe is concerned, the amount of baryonic matter normal matter, as opposed to dark matter that existed in the universe at the time was nowhere near enough to fuel these galactic growths. There simply wasn't enough matter to form six huge galaxies so fast. It's bananas, study co-author Erica Nelson said in a statement. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. The researchers still need more data to confirm that these galaxies are as big as they look, and date as far back in time. Their preliminary observations, however, offer a tantalizing taste of how James Webb could rewrite astronomy textbooks. Another possibility is that these things are a different kind of weird object, such as the faint quasars which would be just as interesting, Nelson said. But if even one of them is real, it means we may be profoundly wrong about some basic details about the universe. And it also has implications for research going forward too. Currently, computer simulation models of the universe often hinge on details like stellar mass, meaning the total mass of stars and galaxies. But if massive galaxies like this existed so long ago, we may need to reevaluate how we've been programming these models which have a significant impact on how we understand space. But ultimately, this is also just one of the many amazing discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope has helped make, helping us learn more about the universe with every new revelation. Let us know in the comments what you think about these galaxies. As always thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.